Where's that down from?
Right, we're back. Sorry about that. A couple of frames without any commentators. Um, I'm with, uh, been joined by Mark Pickworth, Simon Webb, commentating. Joined the match at 1 1. Just sat in the arena and watched uh, Steve make a great black down the rail. A couple of great shots to win the uh, win that frame. Didn't see the first frame, but uh, enjoying it at 1 1. Interesting matchup, this, this Mark. How do you see this one panning out? Um, well, got a lot further than sort of Liam Dunst. He's definitely one of the, f- the favourite in this match. Uh, Steve's a good player, though. Yeah. Um, he'll take some uh, pushing over. And uh, I don't know. Uh, that's, ooh, I'm going to put my neck out here. I'm gonna, I reckon it could be a, a last frame decider like yours was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I well, do. We, we want that. We like last, last frame deciders. We'll, yeah. we'll take that now. Definitely. The bookies have uh, Liam as a, a strong favourite for this match, and I definitely think he's favourite. Yeah, right don't, think so. he, don't think he's as strong a favourite as the bookies are making out. I don't think he's a good value bet. But, um, I've said many times on stream, I think Liam's a, he's going to win a tournament soon. Um, I think he's getting closer and closer. So, um, when everything else in the game, it's just an IPA major missing. He's had a final under his belt, hasn't he? Yeah, he lost to John McAllister in a he pro did, final. Yeah. Um, roughly, roughly this time, yeah, Warwick, Warwick last year, so the European Open last year. Um, I really thought he'd win one this year, and he's got two more chances today in the professional and open tomorrow. He reminds me... Uh, I mentioned, uh, wrote an article and said that uh, Liam's never won a, a trophy on the IPA tour, and he reminded me that you get a trophy when you you get runner-up. So I had to amend that to title. <laughs> Rightly so. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, yeah, yeah. hit a good break there. He's, Liam's always goes for the cut break, the second ball break, but uh, he's got a lovely break, but it's not. Not a lovely split. He's made what he made two, three balls. Uh, mm. He's made two balls. Two balls, yeah, one of each. One of each, and and he's not. He's not neither colour set are very inviting. Um, looks like he's gearing up for some sort of containing safety. I mean, he's going to have to needs to sort of develop as well, but uh, so let's. Uh, so was he, he, was he left? Was he left Steve a, a yellow to the bottom left, or bottom right? Sorry, mm-hmm. left and right wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got a yellow in both the corners. He's got a yellow in both corners. He's got maybe a two tough reds he could go at. So is Liam saying he wants to be red, giving him a little sniff at yellows? Mm. I think that's why Steve's looking at his red. Yeah. If he doesn't make this though, he's you know that's mm-hmm. a tough ball. Mm-hmm. So, so now Liam's got reds if that's what he wanted still a terrible finish it's still 
problems in a couple of areas. One major one is the red and yellow. Could he? I think he's too straight on the red that he's nearest to to screw straight back into that red and yellow. I think he. I don't think he can play that shot. Uh, not to get into the, uh, no, the red he, that's on the cushion. I think no, he's going to be hitting top side of the top side of the, the pocket. I don't think he can get into that area. Um, okay, so not sure what he's played for here. I wonder if he's is he lining up a three ball plant? That would be. That would be very, very aggressive, and I'm not, not sure that's the shot. But I wonder if he's looking at that. Something can, a bit more containing. Yeah, maybe cover a bag, probably. I don't know. So he's got something up his sleeve. It's going to be a safety, and it's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be a delicate little shot, this. He's played that okay. I think he's left Steve a shot at the yellow in the middle. But if he makes that, he'd still have two two problem yellows. Yeah, there's definitely some miles in this there. Uh frame it's going to be awkward isn't it for both yeah they could both of them have got aggressive options Steve could take this yellow in the middle and try and create an angle on the yellow on the right hand side to be able to get across to develop the ones on the, the other side but the odds of getting them both out in one shot is difficult yeah, with the uh, reds, you know, he has only got that one to get out, hasn't he? It's the sort of table that once one of them goes for it, unless it all comes out well, it's it's making the game easy for their opponent. Playing yellow off red. That's a clever shot. He didn't quite get the top end of the table right. He, he was trying to play that yellow off the red, so not to pot it, but just to, to cover that area. But he's also controlled the white really nicely and left Liam nothing to go out as well. That was a very clever shot. Sounds but we'll let Liam to get this uh, this tricky red out now. With um, obviously Steve still gonna have one tricky yellow. Yeah, but he's only he'd only have one rather than the two, which is Yep. Gives him options, doesn't it? I'm not sure if this uh, red goes. I think he's just trying to bump it out and leave the white. He's trying to get the white down behind the red at the bottom of the table. But if he doesn't, he's you know he knows he's leaving a tricky finish. Mm -hmm. So now does Steve take this yellow in the in the right middle, cannoning the red and yellow ab above it, and eventually wanting an angle on the yellow on the right hand side to get into the yellow across the side other side of the table. Or can he play this yellow all the way up the rail? He's trying to take the bag at the top of the table. If it falls in, he'll go for the finish. If it doesn't, he'll have the pocket. So it's a good choice. He hasn't hit it, has he? He's not hit it. Oh. No, he's left the red at the top does go. So good chance for Liam now. I think the red by the yellow and black in the middle of the table goes to the middle as well. Yeah. So he, might, he may take that first ball. He should do. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, leaving yourself to get on that. I mean, as long as he's straight on it, he's definitely going to take yeah. it now. He's trying to get on that one on the corner. He's under hit that by, by a bit of a distance. Yeah. Tricky now. I suppose he's done that because he needed to go top end first, didn't he? Because obviously the black just only goes in that left middle, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, clear the top, clear the top one next was his plan, and then the one in the right, in the middle of the table. 
No, he comes down for the tricky. two at the bottom, but he's he's got a problem here. Yeah, it's tricky now. Yeah. I, I wonder whether he still needs to play the cut on the one at the top because he'll take the pocket with it. I don't know whether the one he's nearest to pots past the reds to the bottom left. Oh, he's played it in the middle. That's a lovely shot. Wants the white to travel. He's got a shot. No, he's fine. He's happy with that. I was yeah. He would have been slightly worried when he saw it, the outline it was coming. He was going to get behind that yellow, but that's finished okay. It's a thin cut, the one at the top, but it's okay. Just wants to make it and let it white drift down, down the down the table, inside the, um, the black to the cushion, halfway between the two. Oh, he's played it with a bit of side to... Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Probably a little bit closer than he wanted to get to that red, you think? But <laughs> Yeah, I think any more. It uh, made this uh, pot trickier. I'm surprised he played it with side, because I, I thought if he played it plain ball, he, he didn't. one thing he didn't want to do is finish straight on this one down the, the rail. But he's probably played it with side to come on and off the cushion. Not maybe needed a trace more side on it. Goes to the goes to the other middle no, I didn't through know the that. through the gap of the reds. You can see that on the uh, camera four. It's uh, fly through there. There you go. Yeah, Steve will be slightly frustrated because he was a roll or two away from putting himself in a pretty commanding position in that frame. think uh, the money match that Steve played recently will have much of an effect on him this weekend? Do you think his confidence will be low? And do you think uh, it's one of those who you sort of put, put those matches behind you? Um, I don't think his confidence will be low. Um, you play a lot of frames, don't you? But uh, it's a different, it's a different it's format. Just a different, yeah. It's, it's a, a different completely. Format. I think you're right. I think it's just a completely different kettle of fish. It's tournament play to money match play in long races is very different. Good split, but dry. First thoughts were reds because he's got an obvious red on, but I'm thinking yellows are possibly. He's, he's got a problem red and yellow at the top near the black, and a problem red and yellow to the right of that. But yellows may be slightly easier to solve. Difficult to say. Judgment. There's probably closer reds to the problems at the top but it's difficult probably no I think I'm thinking reds but marginally thinking reds if he pots the one to the at the bottom of the table now leaves himself an angle on the one to the right middle so that he can just pot that drift into the one the red and yellow above it that solves that problem and then he's got three three balls in the top half of the table to develop the other red He's gonna that's that's good. I think he's got enough angle to be able to develop the two at the top. Is it? I don't know. Maybe it, it looks a little straight. To be honest, might have to really punch it in if he wants to develop the red and yellow at the top of the table. If he takes the one on the side rail, 
I think he's absolutely straight on the one um, nearest to sort of uh, nearest to white now to so the top right yeah he was able to punch it in and create an angle but it's been a little bit unfortunate good shot so one more he's left himself a nice angle now pop the one at the top of the table on and off the cushion to develop the the red and yellow that are almost touching he's half ball though doesn't he yeah so yeah the only thing that can go wrong stick. is if he gets the full ball and he sticks to the red yeah any sort of half ball cannon and he should leave himself a choice of of a couple of reds Oh, it goes to the top, uh, goes past the black, the way he's right. played that. Oh, yeah, easy goes, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes past the black to the top right, uh, top left, top right as we're looking, top left as the normal screen. Yeah, when they go, you don't want to be disturbing them, do you? you just leave them, leave them yeah. there if they go. Looks like he's got to be just, if he's that, he's got to be careful. It looks like he's going to be cannoning the yellow. He's just got to be careful that he doesn't hide because he wants to play the one to the bottom left next. So he's just got to make sure he doesn't hide that shot. Oh, he was straight enough that he could just roll through without touching the yellow, which is absolutely perfect. Now one straight shot along the diagonal and two balls over a pocket. See any error now. Yeah. Horrible queuing he's left himself, but shouldn't be a problem. All he has to do is die it in. Good finish this. He's had uh, two problem balls and worked them both out. So, Liam moves into a 3-1 lead and his break as well. Did you have to give a prediction on this at the uh, this morning? I, yes, I thought uh, I thought uh, Liam would win. I didn't think uh, he was great value at the the odds that he was at this morning, but uh, I think he was one to six on something like that. Uh, I see. But I I thought he would win the match. Uh, Steve's a great player, but uh, I think that Liam's. Uh, I've been tipping him to win a tournament, so I wasn't going to not tip him to win the match. So Liam, a bit like uh, Mark Boyle, goes for the... And, and Clint Janssen's now breaking like this, goes for the yeah. second ball down. So he's, if you watch here, he's trying to hit the, the red rather than the yellow. A lot of players are doing it now, aren't yeah. they? Even saw uh, Mark Farnsworth trying it a little bit in, uh, in Morocco at the World Series. Is it dry? He's come up sure. dry. Looks a good chance on yellows here. Yeah, definitely. That Especially, I, th I think the yellow he's nearest to goes into the left middle. So everything, everything's got a pocket. Might want to, might play the plant first shot. 
he might decide to clear the three at the top of the table then come down but the only one that's a real problem is the the red at the yellow in the middle of the table at the bottom the red that is near it he probably wants to move that get it out of the way um, he could play that first shot um, play the plant and, and try and come on and off the cushion and move the red or screw straight into the red but he might decide to play the three at the top and then come down the table because so, he because the, the blacks he w he'll want to get on the black from the bottom end of the table which is why I say clear the top end first and then come down the table which way would you go Mark would you the only one that can really be a problem is the, the one, on the the one there. Spot, yeah. Would you would you go straight after that, or would you clear the top th top three first, then come down? And it shouldn't be a I problem to move it either way. I think the, there is a shot here. He, he could cannon the red out with this first shot. Obviously, play the plant in the bottom, well, in the top left hand corner that we can see. Yeah. Um, and then he oh, could knock the red out of the way, but you know, kissing into ball sometimes we go wrong. It's just uh, he's, he's got options. But if he plays this first shot, then he cannons the red. He's, he's almost guaranteed to be at least on the one over the pocket. Oh, it has gone wrong. It has gone wrong. It has gone wrong. The one over the pocket's gone behind the red. Yeah. So now he's got a problem there. Do you know, the, the shot, he <laughs> if he can see enough of that yellow that he could play it full so that he left the white welded to the red and didn't pot it, didn't pot the yellow and left Liam no shot at any other red than the one he's nearly touching. That would be the shot, I think. Player safety, but I, I don't know whether he can quite see it full enough. Oh, he needs to be working out now what his uh, so if options are. Yeah, so he, he can't just keep pointing balls here. Cause no, he needs to know which ball. Oh, he's played the double. That's clever. Yeah, there that's not a bad choice. He knew he always had that bag, so that was a clever shot. Liam doesn't have a straight pot on. He has a plant into the right middle as his only real potting option. He'll, he won't want to pot unless he's got a way of developing the, the two reds that are a problem. And it's not obvious how he could do that. Possibly potting the red past the black. So if he got high potted the red that in, into the left middle as we're looking and um, past the black and and then the white could if he was thin enough on it he could come down and cannon into that area I'm just relying on making sure he's got the correct angle I don't think there's much scope there is there no you know yeah, it's, yeah. it's unlikely I think to, to come out brilliant but then what other options has he got is there any safety options looks like he's looking at looking at it oh, okay so he's trying to cover the two yellows at the bottom so that, that Steve can't get to them hasn't really done that Steve can still get those I'm not sure if that um, that uh, sort of plank goes in the corner I think it does I think he can come down low on it and play play it full and the, the yellow will go and the other yellow will squeeze off the red and stay over the pocket Mm. I think he's okay here. Yeah, I do. I think that goes. I think Steve's got a good chance now. Because that, that yellow might... Will it just tuck into the red? That's, I think that's what he might be scared I think of. You'd play it, I think you'd play it firm. You might make them both. The way they're laid out, it wouldn't surprise me if you made them both. Yeah. I think Liam, Liam just wanted an extra couple of inches to really cover that up. And he hasn't. I think Steve's a chance here. So he's going to play it now. Almost half ball, half ball with it, uh, not not smashing it, but with enough pace to get the white out. The, out. Yeah, he needs to get out. He? Yeah, almost playing on the one, one he's nearest to, to the top right, possibly. So you have, you know, ideally he'd want to be on the one at the bottom, but uh, so he w had a choice. Oh, he's played it with more more control, and that's come out. That's come out really nicely. Yeah, it was well played. That, that was really well worked out. Yeah, he's controlled that. I was thinking a bit more pace to try and just clear the reds away a little bit more. He's already had it go wrong once, so yeah. he's, uh, he just made sure that he's uh, always getting a shot at it. 
So now I would suggest that's probably his last ball. The, the yellow he's just played. So pop three at the top, leave the white anywhere. Anywhere in the sort of, almost in the triangle area. Anywhere on that line of the table. And he should be absolutely fine because the black's a delicate one to get on. Just to be careful. Yeah. No, he's, I think he's okay. He, he looks thinner on it than he actually is. It, he wanted the white back probably another inch or two, but he's okay. He, he'd like to be able to just pot this and just roll, roll past the reds. He doesn't want to. He doesn't really want to have to screw this. I think he can just plain ball it. Oh, he could plain ball it comfortably. But he's uh, he's under hit. He didn't get as much as much side on. He was trying to use the top. I thought he'd float it in and. and and he's tried to use the top cushion with, with right hand side and straighten the white up off the cushion. Because yeah, uh, this this can go wrong. Yeah, he he could be leaving himself a very tricky black. Could be knocking the red in the way or anything. Yeah. yeah. Can, uh it's almost don't try and get too good on the black here. Just just a stun shot, and the, this white will bounce into the red and just pop back a, an inch. Oh, he's got too much. Oh, I think he's on it. Is he on it? Yeah. Is he on it? I think so. If if he's not, he can spin this spin in. Spin it in with some sort. Of yeah. Oh, it's very tight. He needs this rain, though. Yeah, the camera four shows you how tight this is. This is... Yeah, I, I don't think he can see the potting angle without side here. I might be able to see the spin he'll put on this to kick it in. Yeah. Yeah, you can see him just jacking up here. He's just raised the butt trying to get the side on. Oh, he's yeah. played that nicely. Very good. That was a good finish. Good finish under pressure at 3-1. 3-1 becomes 4-1. You start to get away from you at 3-2 and you're break. You're, you're, you're back where you really, you know, you're on serve, really. Time we're coming up to seven, and we've still got uh, what have we still got? Four more matches to bring you on the stream, stream tonight. Yeah. yeah, four more. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're nearly halfway through, aren't we? Halfway through. So that's what happens when you put slow coaches like myself on the stream and <laughs> drag a match out for um, for a while. I only want the second half anyway. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, it, it was noted. <laughs> I've got a text about it. It was a good break from Steve while we were discussing uh, previous matches. Tricky finish he's left himself. He, again, they, they're, not, they're not opening up and leaving good chances. These are tricky. He's got problems, both colour sets. He, I think he'd probably prefer reds. But it's, it's tricky. Maybe, oh, he's got, yeah, it's a difficult one. If he takes reds, he's going to go straight after them, cut this in the middle, and go into the two. And that's not come out particularly well for him. Yeah, because I don't think that uh, red goes in the corner now. With the two on the cushion. Yeah, I think the one on the cushion goes. I'm not sure if the one inside that goes, but it, if it does, it's very difficult to get on anyway. If it does go, he's still got a finish on. If that does, if he's actually a, he's not he's not too bad. If he can drop this one, if he can drop this one in the middle. He might have to go in and out of bulk, play on the one to the to the opposite middle, and then he can get on the one down the rail. He, this, there's a chance here. You know, he's a, he wanted to avoid that black. He wanted to be he wanted to be straighter on on the one to the middle, so that he could just pot it and play on the one down the rail. I think 
he's so, he, he can't get into them either. It's a thin cut, but he's going away from the reds, so uh, very, very difficult to see how he can how he can get to the, the problem area. Looks like he's going to be saving him for the last two balls, which is never ideal. I mean, if he goes for this, he's just run on a little bit of luck. Well, I'm wondering if he pots, if he if he just floats this in and plays on the other red in, in open play, and then has to play on the two down the rail. I think he he was playing on the, he's played on the one down the rail there, not the one the one that he's nearest to. He doesn't go to the pocket he's on it to. So he was he was playing on it on the one down the rail, the outside one, and he's he's a bit short on it. It's one of those shots though. He should he should take the pocket if he doesn't get it. Give Liam a problem. It's okay. So yeah, which he has done. Give you something to think about, isn't it? Yeah. So Liam's got some problems now. Looks like he's trying to work out if there's a place up top end of the table he can hide hide Dwight with some margin of error. Doesn't look like there is. That black looks like a very tiny blocker when you, you look at it from here. What, what more aggressive options does he have? He can pop the yellow to the left, bottom left as we look. But he's going to need an angle somewhere to develop the right hand side of the table somehow you know, he's, he really has got a he's really in a tricky spot he's trying to get in such a position for him to get that red out of that corner bag isn't he he's definitely looking yeah I think he's I think he wants to find a safety, but I don't think there is a good safety, so I think he's probably thinking more aggressively. No, it looks like he's trying to tie up the tie up the the bottom the reds and hide the white at the same time. Sort of half managed half managed it. I think this red goes. I think he's on the red in the middle. But the next shot's tricky because he's just got a yellow over there to make. Before that shot, he was able to play red onto the cushion, yellow, and, not, and then pop the one over the pocket. I yeah. can't do that now. So he's sort of got half the shot as he wanted it, which is giving him a chance to stay in the frame. Steve looks like he wants to be aggressive, but if he drops this one in the middle, it's very difficult to see how he can make the next shot work. I'm sure he's got a plan, and we're about to find out. Well, depends if that, uh, that gap. I think the three-ball plant goes. I think he could play a four-ball plant. Red onto yellow, yellow onto yellow, yellow onto red. But the red's going to be flying around the table, and the white's going to be flying around the table. Yeah, I so think he just plays uh, a containing shot and just get them two yellows, not bumping right out. Possibly. This is what he's looking for. Left the one there. The only problem is he's probably going to be in some trouble now, isn't he? Yeah, you, it's a big target. It's, it's going to be a big target, but you fancy Liam to put him in a spot of bother now. Yeah, he'll be working it out now to get the best out of this shot. Yeah, you can see there he's got the uh, pocket well and truly sewn up. They do plant as well, we can see that. So any contact on, on those reds and it will make one. So. Liam's got to be careful with the shot because, just like I say, it's a big target.
See, I, when I'm looking at here, I, I almost want to play whatever I play. I'd like to play it off the yellow on the right-hand side because I'd like to develop that ball at the same time. But it's not not easy to see how we could do that and get it safe. It's not sure. It's, it's not obvious which part of the table to try and get the white to. It looks like if he left it anywhere in, in the top end of the table, there's an opportunity potential for him to leave a, a one cushion shot. So maybe somewhere at the bottom left hand side of the table. That's the better snooper of the two, isn't it? Uh, okay, that's uh it's the shot's not gone as he as he played it, but he's tried to get the white past the yellow that he's nearest to. He would like to have gone the other side of that, somewhere up towards the pocket. But he's also played double on the yellow that he's hit across the table to try and block the one cushion shot. And that, that's actually happened. The, the, the yellow he's played has, has blocked the, sh the, uh, the shot for Steve here. And with him being hampered queuing, it's going to be difficult for him to get, get the swerve. I think they're just going to ask for a referee because... Uh, um I'm not sure. Yeah, just to watch the shot. You and Dave are the top. Here comes the referee, Scott McMillan. Is it too much to hope he's going to come over with some drinks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we better write that one off. Yeah. Scott's just been nasty in the arena just to watch his shot. Because obviously, I think. What's he what's what's actually he's playing again? Yeah, well, he <laughs> he's he looking at all sorts here. Oh, is he is coming off the. He's playing your shot. Oh, he's playing the jaws. jaws. He's playing the jaws. See, like See you said. I think this throws a little bit wider. Yes. Yeah. He's got it. Oh, he's played that well. Yeah. That's a good shot. It is. Yeah. Started a trend today. Yeah, so you don't yeah. see many of those. And uh, second one today. Well, that I've seen anyway. But he's still not in control of his frame, is he? No, uh, he's still. Liam's got to be careful with his shot, but he, Liam's still favourite here. Yeah, I agree with that one. It's one of those frames from from Liam's perspective. So from Steve's perspective, he's kind of. I wouldn't say he's written it off, but he's kind of more hopeful than he is expecting to. Whereas Liam, he thinks he should win this now. From I, I think when I'm in this situation that Liam's in now, I think right, this is a frame I really should win. But it's never that easy. There's there's work left here. He's got a couple of problems. He's a bad safety away from, you know, giving Steve a chance to make something creative. Takes a lot of thinking about here. He's going to try and get the white in the same area again. No, not not as high this time. And he's blocked you. Uh, <laughs> he's, blocked, jaws. he's blocked the jaws this time. But uh, I'm pretty, it's, it's an easy escape. It's a very easy escape. He can get the white to to the same position he's just had it in. When you're in Steve's position, you if you can't find anything creative that can you know with a chance of making, you, you've just got to keep hanging in as long as you can. Try and hope the try and make your opponent make some sort of mistake, make it as difficult as possible for him. Okay, he's played that one a little firmer, trying to just 
Get a bit more separation between the reds, give themselves some more options. Made things a little tricky for Liam still. He's only... He can only hit three of the yellows, I think, and he doesn't want to play the yellow he's nearest to because he doesn't want to move that at all. Uh, so it's one of the other two. which And both of them lead. Don't make it easy for him to get to a safe part of the table. So it's a good shot from Steve. I think he'd like a double kiss off this one. This oh, he's he's going to be playing it quite thick, trying to get the white across the left-hand side of the table. Seems well controlled. He's played that nicely. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice shot. This is a tough as That wasn't an easy, as easy shot as Liam made that look. No. Very easy to catch that too thick or too thin and too thick and the in offs in you know in offs a chance and too thin you leave your opponent of pretty good chance to make the one over the pocket has he got up down up oh sorry down up down up, up down up down <laughs> down up down I think he has he's on or it. I think he's going to play one cushion and try and hit the one not the one over the pocket the one in play yeah, yeah. and just get it more in play I think mm. so it's nice and more percentage yeah just get it out a bit more if that goes over the bit, it'll back yeah, so he's shot. yeah, he's really happy with that. And this is a chance now that Liam's yeah. got to take. I think, and he yeah. What angle has he got on the one to the middle, right now? Unless, unless all he's going to do is just drop this yellow on top of this red. I think he. I think he's going to be more aggressive. I think he's going to. He might look for a finish here. He could take. He could take the yellow. As we're looking to the straight yellow to the to the top middle, as we look, get the white across to the somewhere just left of centre of the table, and then he could he could screw across, pot the one to the bottom left, and screw across to develop the one in the um, the problem ball because he's only got one problem ball really, and he's got he's got some ammunition to develop that. I think he's got an angle on the yellow to the bottom left to screw across. Possibly pot the, the red over the pocket. The only problem with that red, it's not... It's not right over the pocket, is it? Yeah. You could play to move the yellow rather than trying to pot the red. You could play you know, play it in such a way that you, you're trying to cannon the yellow full in the face. Playing the wider one of the two, he's going to play this with some side and come, come across. Oh, right, that's clever. So he can now play. He can now play the yellow. He's just cannon. He can play that off the red, so that 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 yellow now squeezes in past the red, and he'll play it so that he'll move the red out the way. And it looks tight. I think the shot's on because I think that's exactly what he's played. Yeah, because the red is going to come away. It's not so the red just needs to flick it. Yeah, he only has to flick it away a little bit. He'd like the he'd like the yellow near you know in the middle nearest the sort of triangle area. He'd like that to go in the in the middle past the red or off the red because then he could just play this as a stunt shot on that shot. Then next, yeah. Awesome. He's played that well, hasn't he? Yeah, that was a really clever clever yeah. bit of thinking there. I was thinking about what how could he make the white fly across and develop, and he's seen that if he just nudged that yellow along. That I mean was clever, on clever. On the camera angle we had, I didn't think it actually went, did it? No, but it, it obviously sailed through and you played it with, you could play it with nice control as well. Mm. 
So the only one he's got to be he's got to be a little bit careful with the the yellow nearest the black. I'm not sure if it goes to the top right. It doesn't go to the right middle. It does go to the top left. But he just needs just needs to be good positioning on it. It's, it shouldn't be posed too much of a problem. He's got loads of margin, but yeah, it just needs to be got on. Gets good position here. It, it's plain sailing. It looks to be fairly perfect. Maybe a, maybe a fraction too much angle, but not not really a problem. Just make the pot. Take your pick on the, the pocket for the black. He's got plenty of angle, so the white's going to be coming across. Go around he, the back of it, won't he? He can go around the back of it and play for. He could play for any of the top three pockets, really. He could play for the bottom, bottom or the bottom ones as well as we wanted to, but he won't be. You're playing either. Uh, I, th I, th I fancy left centre possibly, but he might decide to come all the way around and play top top right. Just coming around off two cushions. Oh, he's played one cushion and uh, screwed across and taken it in the middle. It's just how you feel, isn't it? It's how you feel. It's uh, still he's finished good on it. Looks a little tight from our screen, but I, th I think it's uh, it must sail in because he could have played in any pocket for that black. So must be wide open. Yeah, pretty good. So four two ahead. It sort of breaks the serve again. If, we, if you view it that way, that was Steve's break. At 3 2, so moves 4 2 ahead on his break. He'll be thinking good break, move 5 2, put some pressure on. So here we go. He's, uh, looks like he's changing the spot he's breaking from. He's come a little bit more inside, I think. He's, I think he's can't get tied up all the time. I think they? he might be trying to play top ball, half ball now. Oh, he's played top ball, full ball. He's changed his break completely. He's gone for a, the, the front ball power break. Hit that good as well. Hit that really well. Yeah. Hit that really well. He's got a. A good looking chance on yellows, tricky couple of yellows, but all the yellows have a pocket, whereas the reds don't. The reds would need some developing and he doesn't have a, an opening ball on, on reds either. So the first couple of shots with yellows would be difficult. I've got to replay the break. Oh, that's, that was his previous break, yeah. So we can see how he's changed his break.
Is that something you do a lot of, Mark? You know, you hit a, hit a break and, you know, it doesn't go, it don't make anything go to a different break? Yeah, I think you should change your ways, definitely. You can't, you, I mean, do you, you, do you can't judge it on bear it, but... Do you judge it on making a ball, or do you judge it on the sort of split you're getting? I, I judge it on... I mean, everyone's affected on um, the getting the ball, I think, can't they? Yeah. Because it, it, it does make a, a big difference trying to get control. I sort of feel if I'm if I'm if I hit the brake br- really well and I, d- I come up dry, I don't want to change because of that because I've hit the brake brilliantly. I've just it's not it's just gone against me. Yeah, there's but if a, there's if some of that. if I'm not getting the split quite right or I'm not hitting it, then maybe I'll change. Yeah. Didn't look like that one was going to drop. It looked like he just caught the near jaw, but it did fall in. I think he thought he missed it. Yeah, it fell in quite easily, didn't it? Yeah, so that. The yellow on the top rail is the big problem ball. It's not a major problem. just needs to be got on and, and a good pot. The yellow on the left-hand side, he's it, got a, a huge pocket. That red just makes it almost unmissable. So that's not a big problem for him. Really, he's just working out his route, which way he wants to go. I don't think he wanted that cannon. I think he wanted to come across to the right-hand side of the table. I think he would have really liked to play the, the yellow below the black next. I think that was what he, he would have been preferred to do. He doesn't want to leave that yellow below the black to his last ball. Uh, he doesn't. It, it wouldn't be a huge problem if it was his last ball, but I don't think he wanted to leave it to his last ball. He, he may choose to now. Yeah, I think that's the only option for him, isn't it? He could play... He could leave. Or is he got? Is he is coming he back it? far enough? What does camera four? Do we see? Can we see? I think he's on it. But oh, I don't know whether he can pot to the potting angle. What's his? Well, yeah, not that you get. You don't get much from Liam's facial expressions. But he he did have a big puff of the cheek, so I'm not sure that he's on this. I think he's on it, but you know he's leaving himself it's a, it's a bad angle below the black is he is that all he's leaving after? yeah and he'd have to play it with some side to get there wouldn't he I Depends. think maybe just top spin depends how much he can get out of this yellow oh he was on it he was on it so yeah you're, you're right yeah and that's the only option he had didn't he so this is um, so he didn't go bottom left that, uh, that no. yellow in the middle of the table no so he'll he could play the one in the middle he could cut that in the middle from there but I think that he's going to go for the one over the pocket got to be careful with the positional sh- shot that's all come awkward that's come awkward he didn't want that nudge on the black I don't know whether he can play this pot into the top left without queuing over the black if he can it's no problem if he can't it makes the pla- makes it tricky I think he gets this I think he gets it I just think I think it's it just how hard it is can, that black how hard does this black make this shot looks like with the angle he's got he probably has to sl- just drop it in if he can't see the centre of the white to be able to screw or stun it off the cushion no he can't so he all he can do is just drop this in and the white's going away from the black oh he was able to stun it in it that's was. a brilliant shot that really is a classy shot yeah, a good wow that's there. tough tough queuing to, to pull that out that's so easy to throw a bit of side on there and, and miss that by a, a foot So yeah, break and finish from Liam, and he does move 5-2 in front. Puts the pressure on to Steve. (laughs) 
really needs to make a ball and get something going here, Steve, now. Doesn't want to risk falling 6-2 down. A long way back from there. Steve with a cut break from the other side of the table. Really good break, hit that so solid. Not the nicest split, which is one of the things I find with a cut break. I don't think the splits are as good. Although there's a couple of players that uh, play it, and you know Liam and Liam, Mark Boyle and uh, Clint Ianson, they seem to get really big splits off them, but. The cut break to me always send, tends to leave a finish like this where there's there's a cluster. I wonder if he can play the red first shot, play the red in the middle of the table and go into that area, top cushion, go into that area and try and make something happen. Or can he screw straight into that area? Top cushion, yeah, that's not really worked for him at all. He's on, he's on nothing. Uh, yeah, that's gone. Really, really not happened from there. Trying to make it happen, but it's yeah. He's on. What's he got? He got. He's got no real attacking options. Very difficult to hide, hide the, the white here. I think in this situation, I'll be reluctant to to move any of the yellows on the right hand side that's where Liam's got problems possibly just want to get the one in the top of the table in the open and, and put some pressure on Liam and say if you want to go for a finish it's it's tricky yeah sort of what he's done just developed his red a little bit but he's left Liam a couple of pots both to the middle one to the left, one to the right middle as we look. One to the left middle is a bit tighter, a bit, a bit thinner, or a bit tighter angle, I should say. One to the right is a little bit thinner, but what a more open pocket. Could he play the one? Could he play the yellow to the right middle and come down the table to finish low on the yellow at the bottom end of the table, so that he can pop that and screw into the the problem yellows, two problem yellows above it. Prob yeah, pr the probably the can. Chance. Yeah. Was it too thin? Is it too thin? You might have to come pot it and come side cushion, top cushion, or top cushion side cushion. Not Either way, he's not playing it. He's he's going to get the white down to the bottom of the table, I think. Liam was trying to cover the red at the top of the table so that Liam, uh, so that Steve had to play one of these reds at the bottom of the table where he, he doesn't really want to because they're the reds that are making Liam's finish tricky and Steve doesn't have a finish on. sure what Steve was trying there but he's not going to be that disappointed with the result not sure he's left Liam 
enough of the yellow in the middle of the table to pot to the right middle. Can't see the ones to the top of the table. Yeah, I, think he, he, I don't think he's left Liam anything to go at here. He's still, you'd still rather be yellows than reds here, but I think he might have controlled the situation for a visit at least. Yeah, it looks like Liam's just going to play the one. He's either going to play on and off the cushion, so he's going to play left-hand side cushion and, and try and just nudge the yellow that he's nearest to just over the corner pocket, leave the white where the yellow is. Actually, he's hit the yellow too thin, which is uh, probably going to annoy him a little bit. He's um, given Steve more of a look at something than he wanted to. Still not, not pretty for Steve, but he's got something to go at. He can pop the red in the middle of the table into the, the left middle. Got to be careful not to go in off. But from there, he, he's only got one bad ball and that doubles easily enough. He, or he's got a couple of options to move it. So he's, yeah, he's, he's got half a chance here. One that he really needs to, to make the most of, to be honest. Just got to be careful don't go, go in off here. Oh, he's playing a playing a more tactical shot than I thought. I, I thought he was going to take the pot on there. So is Liam going to go for a finish? I think he. He probably, he probably could, he possibly should. Yeah, I think he's looking at it now, because I know he's looking at that one in the middle. Yeah, if the one, the one that goes in the middle, the one he's nearest to goes in the middle now. Clear the red out of the way. He can then, he's only got one bad ball and he's got two balls over pockets near it. So, and I think the yellow at the top of the table, the two yellows at the top of the table, both go without having to pot them in either order and, and so on and so forth. He overhit that a little bit. He's too straight on this one in the middle. He wanted to be a couple of inches short so he could pot this, come on, on and off the cushion and or screw straight into the red and get that red and yellow opened up, which he can't do now. So he's now looking at playing a safety shot or a double. He's looking, He possibly could double the yellow he's nearest to and just hold the white where the, the yellow is. If it goes in, he's on a ball. If it doesn't go in, he's got the frame tied up. Or he may just tie the frame up. He may not, might not even look at the double. Oh, he has played the double, but just short. But got, got, the, got the shot absolutely as he wanted to. He's put Steve back in trouble, I think. He's put Steve in a lot of trouble. And it's very difficult to see how he can do anything here. I'd want a referee for this one. I'm surprised Liam hasn't called for a ref. He quite often calls for a ref, but he was happy with that. pretty good shot from Steve to be honest he was in a world of trouble and he's at least making Liam have to work for this finish that, those three those two yellows at the top of the table now are now a problem whereas they both went before so and, that, and Steve knew exactly what he was doing he was getting that red in amongst the, those balls trying to make that difficult So uh, I 
wonder if the um, either of those yellows. Do you think the top yellow goes? Do you think he can pop the top yellow? It doesn't look like he can. Oh, he's gearing on. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, let's go. It's got a bit. Oh, it's not worked out. No. He was asking a lot there, I thought. Yeah. He was trying to bump the red out of the way at the same time as potting that. And now he's uh, he's got a problem because his ball at the top of the table is not near any. He's got there's nothing near it for him to get into it. It's very difficult from here. Steve was a hundred to one to win this frame to a visit ago. Yeah, he was. He was hundred to one to win the frame, and now he's he, he may not be favourite, but he's it's pretty much fifty fifty. Containing shot there from him. Doesn't want to pot it. Oh. It's nearly in. Did flip the jaw, so that's no problem there. Has he got the total? If we can uh, just flick to camera three, get a closer view. Looks like a total. Oh. Camera four now. We show we, he probably has got an edge. I don't think he has. You don't think he has? No. No. Your eyes are better than mine. We we found that out earlier. <laughs> probably better off for him not being. He probably he's probably better being totaled, isn't he? Not just coming. Well, as long as he gets out of this snooker. As long as he gets out of the snooker, yeah. He's yeah. He's got a big target. Two in the top corner. Don't want to be leaving that yellow in the middle, though. Oh, this could be beautiful. Oh, oh, oh what a result for no, him. He can pot that yellow. Can he pot that yellow? I think he can. Yeah, just uh, him pull the funny look on his face like he he might be awkward. Doesn't give much away, emotion, you know, it, facial expression-wise, anyway. This is his only choice. Yeah, he can't pot the other two, that's what's happening. Yeah, and he's not going to anyway, is he? So no. the question is, does he want to? Is he what? Is, if, does he want to risk it? If he misses it, is he? Because whilst he's played a good shot to cover the the black, the black it does skill shot, or or he'll have some an opportunity to move it, you know, move it or get on it in some way, you know. Does he? Does he want to risk it? If he if he does if he can pot the one in the middle, will he be on anything? So. Tricky. He might might even be if he could. He might even be flicking the red and going up close towards the corner pocket. So. this guy answers on the postcard I'm not sure what he was trying to do there he's still in control though isn't he he's so sort of in control it's how aggressive Steve wants to be with that black being there it's not the not the hardest skill shot in the world should he choose to play that way see Liam's moved a red onto a rail maybe that's what he was trying to do just make the Steve's finish it harder maybe If you're in Steve's shoes, Mark, would you be trying to clear the five up and back yourself to make the skill shot, or would you be looking to get an angle on something to go down and... I think the skill shot's easy. You you play, you'd play on a skill yeah. shot, yeah. Yeah, it's not... Well, it's easier than a normal one. It's not, yeah, it's not a, you know... It's, it's, it's not a crazy one. Shots yeah, it's, yeah. It's still, it's still missable. It's still missable, but it's still, it's one... If he got straight behind that, you'd be pretty shocked he missed it. Yeah, definitely. He's just got to negotiate the shot on the rail, which shouldn't be a problem. But he's on that nicely enough. Mm, very nice. Very nice. He needs this frame, though. Yeah, he does. He really does.
It's got to be, I'm assuming he's going to play the red at the top of the table. He could play either, I suppose, but I'm assuming he's going to play the red at the top of the table. He's got to be careful. Tendency for me when I'm playing this shot is just to flick the near jaw. Just catch it, always catch it a little thick for whatever reason. No problem. It's not, the, not a great angle for him here. He can't get super close right behind it easily. At least we're getting it quite close. Yeah. To get a little bit of better control. Yeah, if he screws straight back, he, he looks like the straight screw back. He's going to be. So he's going to be. He, probably screw on and off the cushion. He might be able to top it through. Looks enough off straight. It's, it's not a great angle for him. Hi Gareth, how are you doing? I think, uh, Gareth's the, uh, I, don't, I can't remember the name of the triangles, but he's the racker. The racker. Which we are, I think we're, oh, I've heard we might be using next year, I'm not sure. That's uh, Kev's department. Oh, is it? It's oh, not there. He it got, on it. He got on it really well. I thought he'd make that. I thought he'd make that one. Wow. Can't see uh, anything missing from here. No, no mistakes here. I've just got a new book top table, I'll go back in a minute. Yep. I think I can make this back. So Liam sort of <coughs> gives Steve a chance there that, uh, but um, didn't make it. Here's the, here's the skill shot. We just had uh, Steve just left the room. To, so obviously frustrated with the way that frame panned out, and uh, just been chatting to Liam. He's uh, was just wondering whether one of the shots was a push shot, and annoyed that he didn't call a referee over because he wasn't sure. And couldn't tell from our our position. It looked uh, it's so difficult to tell from the screen, and it's, it's one of those that the player probably knows more than the people watching. Um, so if Steve didn't think it was, and I'm sure it's fine. Um, Difficult to tell, but uh, Liam normally calls a referee over in those situations if he ever thinks it's, uh, as do most players, if he ever thinks it's going to be a controversial shot. That's we have we have 19 tables in action, and we don't have a referee for every match. We have a we have two referees. Um, so if you've got a shot that uh, you think might be, you know, if you've got a total that you can't tell, or you've got a shot that might be a, you know, the referee needs to watch to make a decision on, you normally call the referee over. And that's what they're there for. And Mark's back from his uh, travels, top table and back. Have you uh, got any updates for us? On uh, we've had to rejig the schedule for the stream today. Is there any up news? Well, we're just hoping. Uh, obviously, we've had a bit of a rejig uh, just for 
allowing people to get up into the hotel. And we are, I think, um, sort of going to go back a match and get James Handy on next. Is, is, um, is James in the building? No. <laughs> <laughs> But he, he was due t- sort of 15 minutes ago, so... OK, we've gone past eight, have we? Well, no, he was due, wasn't he? Was yeah, due seven, seven, yeah. Oh, okay. seven. Yeah. Good break from that, that, from Liam there. Really good. I mean, I don't see too much time in this uh, this match. I mean, I reckon another half an hour max, possibly, I don't know. Sort of in control. Could be over in about four or five minutes. It could be, it could be. Top of the table is the only, only slight problem. Uh, goes easily enough, but it's he needs to get up on there and and get on an angle that he can get out again. He doesn't want to be cannoning the yellow, he, so it's whilst it's an easy enough pot, he just needs to be careful when he gets up there. Doesn't want to be a bad angle on it, so it's the only real way you could see it going wrong. This frame is when he goes up for that, and I, I would expect him to leave that to his last ball would be my guess the easiest ball to get on off that red would be the um, would be the black so my guess is he'll leave it till last but it, it's difficult to say yeah he's got a little bit of traffic to, to miss hasn't he yeah it, it, I think it's one of those finishes that looks far far simpler than it actually is this could go wrong here he, he, he's, ne- he's actually not a very nice angle on, a, on the one in the middle here although he can use the yellow to create an angle if he wants to Just how he plays this now, does he? Yeah. Haul it through and it, if he drops it in behind the yellows, I, I don't it, think that's a shot. No, if he just drops it in in the middle, is he leaving an angle that he can either screw back past the black or go on and off the top bottom cushion to get on the one at the top? Oh, he's gone up for the one on the top oh, now, yeah, which yeah, is nice I didn't I didn't realise he had that much angle on it. I thought he was straighter than that. Mm. And this is um, this is perfect. He just wants to avoid the avoid the yellow. I thought he was going to screw down the inside of the yellow, but it looks like he's just going to pot the red and back himself to make a long straight red. Just pot, pot the red, let the white come come back across, and somewhere on the bulk line, just inside the bulk line, and straight on the red is what he's looking at. Has he gone too far? He might no. have gone too far. No, he's on it. He's okay. <laughs> yeah. Good shot. It was a good shot. That was very missable. It was a one of those little angles where it was just punch, pushing away from the black, but he was able to. So it wasn't a straight pot he, that he could just stun in. He no, he did just stun it in, but you, you know what I mean. It was the pace he hit it out would make them might move more away from the black. But he controlled it well and made the simple black to move seven two ahead.
Has, he's made a ball again, but uh, it's a uh, little tricky. Options are limited on the first shot. If he negotiates the first shot, then it could open up quite nicely for him on, on reds. But it's difficult to see how he can make the red that he's nearest to and get on the next ball. It's tricky, isn't it? It's a tricky one to, to do. Uh, he's got to be queuing it nice. He'd have to be, yeah, I mean, can he get, yeah, almost almost might rely on a little bit of luck. Pop this in the right middle and cannoning the yellow at the top of the table. I think both reds in the middle of the table go to the bottom left, so you'd be unlucky not to finish on one of those, potentially. He's decided to go yellows. Not that surprised at that. He's got one bad yellow. That's not ideal. No, he's left himself tricky. No, <laughs> he's hampered queuing. He needs to be getting this uh, you know, behind the blackout. Yeah, he might need to reroute here and go for the one at the bottom of the table where he can get to the centre of the white. I think the plan was probably to play on one of the two, either the one he's nearest to or the one near at the top end of the table, so he could develop his bad ball. But, uh, yeah, and that won't be a bad route because I think the yellow below the black um, does go in the bottom left hand corner, or top, yeah, bottom yeah. left. Yeah, yeah. So it, I think it pops. So if he does take the three out, take the three lo lower the table. Yeah, and, and and then play on it rather than moving it. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's tried to move it now, Ooh, and that's not that's gone. not gone well. No, no. Well, he can he can still pot the one he's nearest to in the middle, and, and he's going to cannon the black, or he's, he might just slide by the black. It looks like he'll cannon the black. In which case, that develops that yellow a little bit. But he's made another yellow slightly awkward as well. It's a tough pot, and the control on the white's going so. Sort of getting away from him here. This finish. It is. Yeah. He just really yeah. needs a good shot to pull it back in. Oh, we can. Can he put the one in the middle of the by the reds in the middle? Yeah. Oh, off the red. Oh, great, great shot. shot. Great shot. So he's got himself back in this. That's a brilliant shot. Yeah. That's but he's still going to have this tricky yellow. Yeah. Behind the black. Because I don't think it goes top left. No. Definitely bottom left. No, I don't think it. I don't think it goes anywhere, but the bottom. Left. Yeah, it's still got tricky. But he can't get on. And he's probably got an angle he can get on it now, but the yellow's in the way. He'd have to clear the yellows out of the way before he could play that shot. So he's in a. Even after that great shot, he's in a spot of bother. For it. Uh, he's got so he can looks like he can just drop this uh, yellow in to the bottom left he's got a little bit of angle on it I don't know if he can drop it in and hold on the yellow to the bottom right or whether he's got a screw screw across for the same the yellow both yellows in the same pocket either way he needs to be really pinpoint with his position on, on this shot so that because his next shot will be the, the critical one he's all his eggs are one basket here aren't they yeah I mean it's but the, the yellow will go to the bottom left when he gets there, but it's going to be very difficult to get on it there, so he may have to play into this and hope for a little bit of luck. It's a diff really difficult one here. It's clever, but he's so he's played on the yellow to play it off the red. So he's going to play yellow off red, so that the the yellow went then went to the middle. But he's about he's about an inch short of pace because he's the wrong side of the yellow because he can't get on the top top of the yellow now. 
It's probably about two or three inches short. So yeah, he's a few inches short. Um, clever shot though, but yeah, he's, he's he's so tough to get. He's going to try and play this beside to get up the table, but he's lifted himself a shot. No. no, he's in trouble. Quite like his thinking there, uh, but just just slightly um, shorter pace. Yeah, he's took on a lot of shots. So this this frame sort of it kind of got away from him shot one really didn't it but it's mm -hmm. it just it just had one problem ball but it couldn't couldn't quite get hold of the white in this frame Needs oh, has, he it? It? has he fluked it he has oh he has fluked is, it is he snooking again wow that's a that's a big fluke but he's I think he can see it but he can do anything with it wow where's this one going He's got to come off the top and hope he clips it in the middle, hasn't he? I think he's just going to have to get... Well, it's just going to hit play, it, is he? Can he hit enough of it to try and play off the red into the top left? I mean, he, that's a crazy shot, isn't it? That's well, I think it's got to be crazy, whatever he does well, here. It yeah, needs I mean, to be crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost fun when you're in this position because you've, yeah. you've got to go crazy. He needs for a kid to happen. He doesn't need that no, one. anything but that anything but that so the fluke didn't didn't uh, affect the frame this should be okay we're going to replay the double oh the yeah, it was a lovely shot from Steve but he still had a problem ball which was a shame he couldn't quite get it back on track probably a bit like the match really he's been just chasing finishes all the way through really yeah, it's a shame. Not really quite got the hold of the the finishes, and yeah, there should be, shouldn't be any problems here for Liam. Just bump this one over the bottom left. Yeah. Didn't, didn't want to pot that one. Probably pot the two in the middle, and or one in the middle, and then the two at the bottom, and then back for one in the middle. He's got options. He's got options either any which way he wants, yeah. really. Put one in the middle, one in the corner, back to the one in the other corner, and uh, yeah. Um, what's this? yeah, I think yeah. Uh, it's going your way. So just, just doesn't doesn't want to leave himself absolutely straight. Just wants a little bit of angle so he can bump the white up, just a f maybe a foot off the cushion, off the neck. So probably wants to be a couple of inches high on this, just so he can bump the white up the cushion and. He's actually low on it. The reds fire off the cushion and the white, so he can just uh, pot this and stun up or top through. And it's got buckets of margin. Can't see any mistakes here from Liam now. A problem. Shouldn't be a problem, but uh, given Steve maybe half a percent of hope, probably not even that much. Liam's played pretty solid, to be fair, isn't he? It's, uh, yeah, he's not. He's played the yeah. the right shots, I think, hasn't he? Yeah, he really has. Frames and have been a bit, little bit sort of some scrappy, haven't they? Yeah, been some tough, tough finishes in there, but uh, Liam goes through till to the second round which will be laid, played Sunday morning in uh, not Steve's finest game so we're going to replay of the fluke I like a good fluke one for the black ball blogger one for the blogger didn't quite see it here we go calling all pockets <laughs> nudge nudge lovely you got just, just nothing went right for him, yeah, did it? He really did. You've got to control the white better when you're <laughs> making a fluke than that. <laughs> Definitely. No. Did you want to chat no, with I'll Liam? I'll let you let you have a chat with Liam. You know. Yeah. yeah you're okay. let, me get, let me get him for you. Are you going to um, see what's going off next game then? 
So we'll just uh, wait for Liam just to finish off and uh, get his cue packed away and uh, sign his card. And we're going to have a chat with him. So, just going to have a chat with Liam. And he's just about ready to uh, just have a chat with me. Right then, Liam, how did that? How do you feel about that one? Yeah, it was, it was all right. Um, played okay. Yeah, yeah. Didn't play great, but done enough. Yeah, you definitely played the right shots at the right time. Um, you, you know, you knew when to play safe, when not to. Mm-hmm. Some of the frames weren't really scrappy, though, weren't they? You yeah. Know, it's not nothing, nothing down to yeah, what you was doing. You changed your break as well, didn't you? Was yeah. And what uh, was the factor with be on that one? Well, I usually do the cut break. Yep. Um, half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. And then that's my, my secondary break, just smashing it through the front, well, front ball. But... A little bit from the side. Mm. I mean, with um, your timing in that, there's no reason why you shouldn't continue that yeah. football um, break, really. Well, yeah, I think I've done it twice there on a broken dish twice, I think. Yeah, yeah, you right? did, yeah. You did, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably continue that break. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, on the way forward and uh, into the next round on Sunday. So, uh, mm-hmm. how are you feeling for that? Yeah, I, I don't even know who I'm playing. I've not really looked at the draw as such. Um, One game at a time, yeah? Yeah. Definitely. Okay, you want about your open event? You play that tonight. Or you want to get in the morning? Um, I've not even checked because I, I think I'll too. automatically qualify for the. Is it sometimes there is some games on a Friday night in there for the one to eight. Mm, not that I've. No. Never. It depends on where you are in the draw. If you're in the seedings and that. I've never known that. To and yeah, I promise you. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll check then. <laughs> I promise you. But uh, yeah, I normally have like a, a Saturday morning match normally. But uh-huh. there is some players that do play Friday night, depending on if you're in the top mm. half or bottom half. But you might be in the bottom half, like I am all the time, so that's good. Yeah, um, every tour I've been to, um, I've played on the Saturday. Yeah, so yeah, I just too. assumed that was the, the norm. Yeah, me too. Do, it's just on your seeding, that's where it is. Uh-huh. So. Okay, but, well. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've checked other matches as well, and they've all been Saturday. But again, I'll, I'll double check. Always just check. Make sure. yeah. Definitely. Well, we'll play Liam anyway, so look forward to the rest of the weekend, Cheers. and no doubt we'll have a catch up later. Yep, Thanks a lot. Cheers. So, uh, we're going to have a, another match on soon. Um, it's looking like it's going to be Curtis Lee and uh, James Honey. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting that on in the next five minutes so stay tuned and we'll be straight back